the strength routine that we're going to go through kind of revolves around triplanar exercise. So we're going to be looking at involving the three different planes of movement, sagittal, frontal and transverse. And we're going to look at different step patterns that we can incorporate into more traditional kettlebell exercises. We're going to be doing 30 second sets and you're going to get a minute's rest in between each exercise. So that means that your client should be able to use a slightly bigger weight than they were using in the toning and the fat loss routines because they're not having to, to lift as, uh, for as long and they're getting a bigger rest in between. So we're looking at kind of more quality over, over quantity and pushing their intensity. Using a big weight is going to help them activate more muscle. So we're going to kind of shock their nervous system create an adaptation, improve their metabolism, and they're gonna get a lot stronger from it as well. First exercise we're gonna look at is a reverse lunge, transverse snatch. This is a really, really powerful movement, incorporates rotation. So until the clients kind of have a bit of confidence with this movement, start with a relatively low weight, and then you can look at pushing them with the weight um, that uh, they're gonna be lifting. So reverse lunge, Turn to one side of your body, and then you're gonna turn your palm to face your thigh, because then your arm will be able to swing, you'll be able to lift your elbow nice and high to take the kettlebell over your head. If your elbow doesn't go high, you're gonna really struggle to make this look like a nice snatch, and you're gonna end up pushing it over your head, which you wanna try and avoid. So from here, make sure, launch your elbow up, so the kettlebell flies up to the top of the movement. So with a kettlebell now, step back on one leg, launch it overhead, in one movement. You can drop it to your shoulder to make it easier to decelerate as you throw it over your head. Or if you're a little bit more confident, you can drop it from the top and then pull. So, for this routine, you gotta do 30 seconds of that on one arm and then you're gonna get a minute's rest because you're gonna be pretty tired. Do another 30 seconds on the other arm and then repeat it. So you're gonna do two sets either side so four sets in total of that reverse lunge snatch. The next exercise we're gonna go through is a pivot clean. So this one's a little bit easier, it's only a shoulder height lift, but we've got two steps to work from. So it's called a pivot, which is a really important movement pattern to work on, because you're gonna go from a reverse diagonal step and then take a big step and pivot all the way around to a forward diagonal step. So we're kind of covering 45 degrees either side, okay? So with the kettlebell, we're gonna swing it through our legs at the back of the movement and catch it at the front of the movement. So, from here, through the hole, pick it up and step forward. Come down nice and low and you're gonna turn your body so that when you land, your body's in line with your stride. So, once you've done 30 seconds on your right arm, minutes rest, go on the left arm, and then repeat on both sides so you've done two sets either side of your body. Then the third exercise we're gonna do is a side lunge with a swing. So this time, we're just gonna step to the side, keep the inside leg bolt straight, kettlebell goes through the middle, and then we drive up from our outside leg with a nice straight arm till we swing the kettlebell shoulder height. So, Step to the side, inside leg straight, and push. Keep your chest up nice and tall. So again, 30 seconds on your right, 30 seconds on your left, all with a minute's rest in between. Two sets either side. And then the last exercise is a tough one. It's another link, so there's two steps to work on. It's a reverse lunge, push press, to forward lunge, push press. If you step back on your right leg, drive the kettlebell up with your legs, then you're gonna step forward on your left leg to drive the kettlebell up again, okay? So, with the kettlebell, step back on my right, launch it, and then step forward on my left, launch it. Would you keep repeating like that? Boom. Thirty seconds on my right, minute rest. 30 seconds on my left, and then repeat. So we've done the 30 seconds on both sides twice. So that's the, the strength program. Because again, there are only 30 second sets, you should be able to get your clients to lift a slightly bigger weight with that. So we're gonna push intensity now, shock their nervous system, get them to get a little bit stronger, and learn some new movement patterns.